Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's class is a 15 minute evening yoga slow stretch that's perfect for when you want to wind down from a busy day. To begin, sit on your heels or cross-legged and close your eyes. And just take a moment to let your body know that it is time to relax. You may have had a busy day Your mind is still racing with, with various thoughts. Simply take note of that. There is no need to change it. Invite your body to slow down now. Take a deep breath in through the nose, into your belly, ribs, chest, fill up all the way. Exhale completely, sigh out through the mouth, twice more like that. Inhale all the way, exhale, release your day, let go. Last time, full complete breath in, feel the torso get wider and then let all the air out. Now we're going to take an easy side stretch, so take your heels to the right side of your body, placing your sit bones right next to them, then lift your left arm up to the ceiling and bend over to the right. The other hand presses down into the mat to find more length in your torso. And you can always sit up on a block here if your hips need to be higher. Keeping your front nips knit closed, gently spiral your chest towards the ceiling. Take in lots of breath. Last breath. Shine your heart up. And exhale, press into the floor to take yourself back up. To switch sides, come forward and place your heels to the opposite side. And when you're ready, reach your right arm up and over, pressing the palm into the floor once again to keep both sides long. And enjoy the side stretch. You can always choose to look down to the floor or up to the ceiling, whatever feels most comfortable. Let your chest open up. Three more breaths on your own, filling up for three. Exhale, three. Really reach. Last one. Good. Press the hand into the floor to come up. And coming into all fours now to release the spine. And get some movement in, place your hands under your shoulders, knees over the hips, curl your toes under and broaden across the chest. Breathe in and exhale round, lengthening the tailbone to the knees. Three more times like this, close your eyes and let this feel good. Down cat as you round like a Halloween cat. Cow, take your collarbones back. Last one. good and right away take your hips back to your heels coming into child's pose knees can be touching or as wide as the mat hands alongside the feet let your forehead rest to a block or the mat 
Take deep breaths into the low back. Just let gravity have you. Let go completely. Take your arms back in front of you, moving very slowly. Press into the floor and begin to lift yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing to come up. And then shift your hips to one side, taking your legs long in front of you. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor, reach the palms and heart forward, shoulders draw down and back. Imagine someone gave you a little punch in your belly, roll down to the floor. Feet on the floor, right underneath the hips. And cross your right ankle over your left knee, the right foot is flexed. Reach the hands through and just hold onto the left thigh or shin if you're really flexible, gently pulling it into the body for reclined pigeon pose. I always like to just move my legs a little bit from side to side, really slow, unwinding any tension that may be there. And you should be feeling a stretch in the right hip. Let your foot drop back down, other side. This time left ankle over the right knee, left foot is flexed the whole time. Threading the arms through, holding to the back of the left thigh. Or to the shin. And feel your low back widen on the mat. Relax the jaw, the face, shoulders release to the ground. And once again, you can invite in a side to side motion or even little small circles. Bring your focus inward. Release that, let your left leg go long now, down to the floor and pull your right knee to your chest, squeeze it down, pulling it gently from side to side. And then taking it over to the left for a simple spinal twist. Take your right arm into a cactus shape, bending at 90 degrees to your right. And notice if you've tensed in the twist. Allow your knees to slide down to the mat and relax both legs and ankles. Fully soften your body into the floor. 
This is your time to relax. Draw the right knee back to center, give it a squeeze, let it go long, second side, left knee into the chest, squeeze it in, gentle movements from side to side, and then to the right into your twist, left arm goes to the left side, wide into a cactus shape. Again, notice if you're secretly tensing somewhere in the body. Let all of that go. The jaw, the forehead, and even your shoulders. Breathe in such a way that your whole body relaxes deeply onto the floor. Release this pose, draw the left knee back to the chest, give it a last squeeze and then let it go long. Final pose, Shavasana, arms alongside the body or you can take your left hand to the heart and right hand to the belly. Watch your breath rise and fall knowing there's nothing to do and nowhere to be. Give yourself permission to just be. So this is where I will leave you. Please stay here for as long as you can, really for as long as you want to. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with some friends, that would really help me out a lot. Thank you so much, have a wonderful evening, namaste.